friends, welcome back to episode two of The Sims 2 PSP. In the last episode, we found Balagoth. She's traumatized, God bless her soul. She's definitely got things she needs to work through in therapy. And we also bought her house for like a hundred quid, even though it's worth 900,000 simoleons. Today, we're going to be carrying on. It is literally two seconds since, you know what? No, I lie. I've had a packet of crisps since the last episode, but we are now getting in to the second episode. Right, the maid also told us that we need to look around the house. This is us, by the way, if you missed the first episode. There is also a secret here. I shall pick that up. Secrets of the undead. Zombies don't literally want brains. They just want decent education. And that is so valid. I think everybody should be entitled to decent education. God, it's fucking huge, like, isn't it? See, I think with houses like this, it's almost too much room to know what to do with. Do you know what I mean? There's a ghost. We just received a new goal. I'm almost frightened to find out what it is. Is this going to be copyrighted? Okay, cool. Let's let's see what rock. Remember, watch the color of your sanity meter. It makes a big difference to your skill building in social games. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe if these ghosts stopped fucking jumping out at me, it'd make a hell of a difference. Right, let's turn this off because... Oh, let's dance. I want to see your moves, actually. Yes. Get it, Queen. So you can fuck off, sir. Back off. I'm being frightened by a fucking ghost. Right, yes, I've seen the ghosts. Talk to me. You look lovely today. Okay. The house is haunted. Haunted is such an ugly word. I like to say occupied. My bills have arrived. Bestie, I'm living up. The house isn't even warm yet. It's occupied by some big main scary ghosts. There's just three ghosts and they're really nice, I promise. Oh, so one ghost is supposed to be a secret. They're just lonely. The ghosts have been trapped here so very long. They'll do anything for attention. Me too, bestie. <laughs> <laughs> These people turn into ghosts because they can't leave. Why not? Ghosts hang around because they have unfinished business. Hey, right, Dennis, the ghost in the music room, he says he used to be the richest man in town until he married Hazel Dent here. She is the she's supposed to be getting married again. I heard the police officer talk about her. She is on another marriage. He mysteriously died and she took all of his money. We will get to the bottom of it. It happened when he was swimming in the pool. He turned around for a second and suddenly the ladder was gone. <laughs> Twas I! He couldn't get out of the pool. He swam and swam, but eventually he drowned. How do you know it was really Hazel? Did he see her do it? Well, no one actually saw it, and the police never found the body so dennis never got a proper burial unless dennis gets buried with honor he'll never get any closure and he'll be stuck here forever so if i find dennis's remains and bury them he'll get out my music room yes if you want to be completely selfish about it so we've got to find dennis's dead body Re retrieve the remains of dennis and how am i supposed to do that okay we've got the lovely shitter where's this oh let me out this is my bedroom very nice. Why am I being entrusted to find the remains of a dead body? Like, do we not think that it might be asking a bit much? Like, oh, yeah, I'm just here for a good time, not for a long time. Oh, we've got another room in here. Dennis! No! Oh, God. I've had it up to here with these ghosts. Oh, this is an interesting floor. See, like, this is an unnecessarily large bathroom. I would feel quite self-conscious if I was to, you know... Right, Dennis, this is actually getting really old really fast. And he wants me to find his body. He needs to treat me with some fucking respect first, Dennis. Outside. All right, let's go meet the neighbours and find this dead body. Act cash. Act cash. Hello. I feel like I've just ruined my makeup. Oh, shit. I fucked that one up. Yes, we love talking about sumo wrestlers. Maybe my sanity is a bit too low, but I still don't know who that is. The policeman's got an exclamation mark over his head, so I'm going to go see him. Actually, I'm going to collect this secret first. I like to know the town's secret. I am a bit of a neighborhood confidant. Secrets of the undead. The living dead prefer to use the more inclusive term, respiratory challenge. I'm an asthmatic, and I also prefer to use that term. What do you think of Paradise Place? I, it's a bit shit. There's been all kinds of trouble. Do you want to hear about the graveyard or the garbage? Both, actually. The garbage garbage man is missing i have actually noticed all the rubbish lying around you give me branco i feel like i need to be keeping notes you know this whole neighborhood was built on a graveyard they get out of their graves this feels like a fucking simpsons halloween episode if you want to make some money come back here anytime and pick up that shovel over there if you could pick up some of this garbage while give me is away try selling it to shopkeepers there's a recycling program hey you know what nice i'm liking that they're entrenching like this whole recycling thing right hello sir he's got a very interesting icon on the top right there oh why does everybody hate me you know what fuck everyone in this fucking town i mean clearly it's a me issue but i thought i needed to find a dead body oh this game can be so confusing you know yes that is definitely a mm, no garbage bag in the truck maybe you went to the beaker's house and which one is the beaker's house all oh, right okay so there's multiple goals do i need to go take myself to bed oh there's another secret here as well it is literally like three o'clock in the morning i'm I, you know what i might revisit Visit this in the morning. The Roswell crash was actually a weather balloon, an alien weather balloon. I do not know what the Roswell crash is. Okay, we did pay our bills though, just in case anybody's curious. It's the morning time, but I'm a little bit confused because I could have sworn that 
that it said if you want to purchase things then you go through the phone maybe i just go through the menu i'm gonna have to google this the phone located inside of the house the call is coming from inside of the house by mode because we need a fridge and a shower to be honest i honestly think a shower should be first because we are a bit 650 that's gonna be all of our money like do we buy a shower or do we buy food let's buy a shower first oh we've already got a fridge actually go shower use Dinky bitch. I don't want to watch this. Can we not like zone away or something? The singing is, is putting me at ease though. Oh, hello, darling. How are you today? You look very chipper and happy. Kook. Can you kook me stuff? I do wish we could speed through time just a little bit. Oh my God, we can. Fantastic. Right, eat that. Speed, 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 speed. Look at us speeding through everything. Now we need a wee. Right, honestly, this is just never fucking ended. I feel like I'm never going to get out of this house. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, out. We need to go dig up a dead body and also greet all the neighbours. <laughs> I'm a put a another bitch they need the die now. What the fuck I need? What the fuck is this? Oh, I feel like this is too much power for me. Where is everybody? Hello, darling. <laughs> you can go the heck away. Nice to meet you. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Nice to meet you. I'll be going now. Thank you. That was riveting conversation. Hello. That's Isaac Rossum. No respect for schedules. I was just about to leave. Don't let me keep you, babe. She's been malfunctioning lately. That is an odd way to talk about your wife. I spent so much time inventing, I start to think of everyone as machines. Um, you are you are a weird guy. Women are people, not objects. She doesn't cook, and for heaven's sake, doesn't have clean. Do you, sir? Do you cook? Do you clean? So I'm heading into town to see if I can scrounge up some spare. Well, honestly, all of these answers are so applicable. I'm going to go for psychiatrist. Rebecca gets so lonely sometimes. I'm just wondering if you could keep her company. She's in such need of a soulmate. How do I do that? Roberta, darling. I'm here to be your soulmate. Can I use their computer? Don't mind me. Oh, alternate. Am I even... Is it even doing anything? Is it even going off? I really don't think so. <laughs> Roberta's just in the background. Oh. Roberta, I think you're my icon. Bitch, you look like a country music star. In a good way or a bad way. Bitch, you better be joking. <laughs> Why does everybody fucking hate me? You know what? Fuck you. It's clearly me. I'm clearly the issue, right? And I know that I am. But I literally, it's not giving me much, is it? We'll go to the bigger household. Ooh. Garbage truck parked outside. Creepy mad scientist decor. I'm betting that these people kidnapped Gimme Branco. They potentially could have done, yeah. I mean, with a house like this, he's never had a trustworthy face. I'm sorry, we were under the pressure that I wanted to talk to you that is so rude i was wondering about that who exactly do you think you are i am your doom <laughs> simply fascinating well if you don't mind i'll just continue ignoring you i'm gonna intimidate him i know what you did to your adopted son you do not deserve rights you little bitch i mean i hope it worked i can hear some unhinged singing in the background let me in i'll be there i should you why i'm so sorry can you please just hurry out with that shower miss thing thank you very close and personal <laughs> you must be lost this is my house I'm your new neighbour. I'm sure I must be delighted to meet you. Now run along. I'm going to intimidate her too. I'm just going to intimidate. You know what? They deserve to be intimidated. I did. I failed that one. I did. That was all me. So all I have to do is have a little bit of a break mentally. And I just get, I've lost my sanity. I had to be institutionalized. Love that for me. Couldn't even afford to pay for therapy. Now you're in debt. Oh, fuck. Right. I need to earn some money. I've lo I have actually lost a lot of money. That is not good. I need to get in here. Let me in. The dead are rising from their graves to scare you. Each grave corresponds to a button. When you see a zombie, press the correct button to smack it with your shovel. If you hit an empty grave, your shovel gets stuck. So watch out for ghosts. Your shovel passes right through them. Try hit stinky zombies for a bonus. Bonus. <laughs> for a donut. And if you want to survive the stench, go for the iron stomach pair. Okay. Right. Right, let's go. Fucking go. This is quite fun, actually. I could do this all day. It's not ethical, but it is fun. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I want to do it again. That was so much fun. And I earned money. Let's do it again. I don't care if you pass out. We're going to do it, bitch. We're going to do it. Oh, I'm way too tired to swing the shovel. Get some rest. Okay, I'll go home. How do I fucking get... You know what? They don't make things easy in this game, do they? I've had it up to hig out with the ghosts in this house. Oh, fuck off, sir. Right, I'm not because I'm going to get institutionalized again. It's not fucking fair. It's really not fair. I'm in even more debt. Right, I just need to track down this Dr. New Law. Does anyone have alert button above the head have we already been in this house which house oh there's a secret the original borgy man had a condition that made him secrete snot from his sweat glands the new law house this is it this is it i'm on your fucking case dr new law oh it's quite a pretty house actually there you are bitch you've got me in fucking debt although to be fair that was on me oh you found your way here excellent 
I'm ready to go to work. I'm a philosopher of sorts and I trade in secrets. What kind of secrets? Not the kind old ladies trade over picket fences. Secrets of life, the universe, everything. So you want me to find out secrets for you? Yes, exactly. I want you to explore the neighborhood, interview people and bring me the secrets you discover. That sounds a lot like spying. It's an inquiry into human thought. When you discover a secret, bring it to me and you can sell it for good money. I'll pay you a little money for just about anything. But if you want the big books, you'll find me the secrets that I'm truly interested in. Yes, I'm up to it. Okay, I do actually have secrets that I can sell. Sir, sell secrets. I have money. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of secret I've been looking for. I'll give you 250. Oh my God, literally a dollar make me holler. I've never been so rich. I literally have so much money. And we've also got the secrets of intimidation. Jesus, we do actually have quite a lot of secrets so far. All right, and this is the final secret to sell. So that's, we've got 2,750 smolians. All right, I want my reward. Good sir, sir. Doctor, right, I just gave you five secrets. You said I get a bonus. What are you getting out? Is it my car? Oh my God, what the fuck is that? I thought it, honestly, no. It's just gone. I thought it was an engagement ring at first. Find the doctor's hiding place. Oh, we've got a secret there as well. The fires of passion are readily, readily extinguished by the asbestos blanket of responsibility. <laughs> Do you think his hiding place would be in the house? Or like, am I expected to go outside? I have a feeling it's in the piano. No. Is it behind? This bookshelf looks different to the others. Examine. I'm gonna find you, bitch. There appears to be a mechanism here to open a door. We'll open it. Skip to it. I need a mechanical skill of two. Right, how do I get a mechanical skill of two then? Train by watching gadget TV. Do you have a gadget TV? No. Do I have a gadget TV? I'll go buy one. I've got money. I've got money. Beautiful. Look at her. Gadget TV. Right, we gained a point of mechanical skill. I don't know what I just did. Wait, right, I'm trying to press circle repeatedly as fast as I can. Or is she just refusing to do it because she's sad? Okay, go to bed. I'm glad she's changed her underwear. Make someone cry. Oh no. Oh, and we gained a point of mechanical skill. Fantastic. Right, let's go to his house. Who should we be who should we be in love with? I'm kind of fancying Bella, but I don't know if she'd I don't know if she'd go for me, you know. I also can't remember which fucking house this guy was living in right i'm actually gonna get him thank god that i noticed that that bootcase was different you know because that is the, the usual kind of thing that i don't pick up and i would have been asking everybody else to try and find him we're in i've found you is that captain america <gasps> oh my god sir Trump. want my money <laughs> you really are pathetic oh, let me enlighten you. Nothing to say. Has my mind control device dulled your wit? Let me explain how this is going to work. You are going to do everything I say. If you fail to do everything I say, this mind control device will drive you mad. Say you understand. I understand. Excellent. You are really clever. Now you're going to walk out this door and leave me alone. Do you understand? And you'll go about your normal life until I summon you again. Do you understand? Perfect. You may go. I will speak with you again soon. Please address me by my real name. Dr. Dominion. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Dominion. Okay, uh, I'm going to steal the secret. Wild Yeti, you're actually glacial vows and only pose a threat to aggressive snowmen. Okay, lovely, lovely. Don't mind me. Just working out. All right, well, that was fun. What are my goals now? Okay, we haven't started that one yet or that one. The only one we've got left of that one is to meet Hazel Dentier. So I think we'll do that and then end. Is this the Dentier? Yeah, this is the Dentier house. Hazel, babe, I'm coming for you. Yeah, You've no. killed your husband. Hey there, sweet thing. What brings you over to my place? I'm your new neighbor. Well, aren't you just precious? You moving into the big house next door? You live close, so you better make sure you come visit me every day. Wait before you go. I know it's like to move to a new place. No money, friends, nothing to do. Well, I've been needing some work done around the house, but I'm just too busy. Easy to do it. You want to hire me to help you with housework? If you don't mind, of course, I'll pay well. And there may even be fringe benefits. I misread that as fridge benefits at first. Just talk to my fiance Roland when you're ready. He'll tell you what to do. All these people want me to do is work, work, fucking work. Right, well, that one's done. And with that, I'm going to take myself to bed and end this episode. So, I'm getting... You know what? I need to save this, actually. Sorry, everybody. I'm getting a much better understanding of what's actually happening in little old strange town and it is oh, honestly superheroes super villains i didn't expect it to be that whacking fucking zombies on the head but i'm enjoying it so thank you all very very much for watching i'm gonna record the next episode straight after this one so i will see you in like 30 seconds for me in a week for you see you next week i love yous